This is a recipe for brahmi, not to be confused with gotu kola. This is what brahmi looks like. And um, if you eat it raw, it's really bitter. By the way, the Latin name, scientific name for brahmi is bacopi monieri. And uh, what you will need is a mortar and a pestle, some organic raw honey. This one is the Himalayan variety. Very nice. A shot glass. Some purified water. The cleaner the better. The one I'm using in particular is uh, reverse osmosis. Uh, so forth and so forth. The one you get at the store from a machine that purifies it. Okay. And uh, so once you have the raw leaf of Brahmi, put it inside, add a little bit of water, add half a teaspoon of honey, and just mash it. Just mash it down, mix it, mash it. And uh, the reason you want to do this is because Brahmi is very, very, very bitter. Okay? So you can try it. You can try eating it by itself. And if you ever tried raw papaya leaf, <laughs> you will know what I'm talking about. Or if you ever tried, um, you know, just straight up aloe vera, that yellow stuff, is super bitter. I think aloe vera is a lot more, it's probably the most bitter out of all of them. And then goes the papaya leaf and brahmi is probably on the third place when it comes to bitterness. So this is why you want to process it a little bit. You know, you we're keeping it simple. You know, we don't want don't want to put too much, you know, we don't have that much time and we want to keep it as raw as possible and fresh you know some recipes you have to dry the brahmi leaf and then powder it and then mix it with something something um, but this one you can do it on the spot if you have the raw leaf from a plant that you're growing at home or in your garden alright so it's pretty much done mashing now you know you can keep mashing it if you want the reason you want to mash it is because it's going to be a shot so uh, you don't want to chew it because it's super bitter like I mentioned earlier and if you chew it you're really going to taste the bitterness so you just want to down it in a shot shot glass here waiting patiently I'm almost done mashing it little bit more maybe it's even a better idea to use a wood mortar and a pestle I'm just concerned about the pieces little tiny pieces microscopic maybe of uh, ceramic you know breaking off or yeah I think a wood mortar and pestle would do would be a little bit better but um this, we don't have that one, we just have this one. So we're just gonna use what we have. Okay, I think that's enough. Just gonna mix it a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna pour it into the shot glass. Hopefully without spilling it. There we go, very green. <laughs> green mean brain tonic machine this one is I'm excited just taking out the remaining ones nothing left behind everything is used I'm not gonna strain it I'm gonna keep it as raw as possible this is what it looks like nice green color almost like a, a reminds me maybe of uh, some kind of 
wheatgrass or uh, so whew, I'm ready for this I'm gonna try it now just like this one two three to health mm. ah. You know, I didn't swallow it right away. I held it in my mouth for a while just to kind of get a sense of the flavor change. And um, yes, this is totally doable. It is uh, still a little bit bitter, but just uh, for future reference, you don't need to hold it in your mouth like I did because that's going to bring out the um, bitterness but the honey did make it sweet and it kind of counterbalanced the bitterness and um, whoa it's great cool thanks for watching check us out at organichawaii.org and elixirdivine.com that's what Brahmi looks like this one right here very nice. Aloha.